For 10 years, we had no clue what was going on. We had no diagnosis. We didn't know how to treat her symptoms, and we didn't know if she was even going to make it. I used to pray out to God, oh my God, help me find an answer for her. What, what is this? you got to answer me, because I'm losing her. I'm losing her. Tijin took a sample of her blood, and they were able to decode her DNA. They found out her brain wasn't producing dopamine, and we were just so happy to have an answer. Three months after we gave her the first dose of medication, she came home from school. She's like, Mom, I have enough strength. I want to go for a walk. And she just held my hand, and she just walked with me down the road. And I was just like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I get to go shopping with her which is really fun. And I get to go to restaurants and all kinds of places without this stupid wheelchair. I just thought, I want a better life. You know, I want to be an actor someday. So I never, I, that's what I like, never gave up because I wanted to, Dance. I wanted to do beat. I wanted to act so bad that I totally pushed myself. And I never gave up because I knew that one day um, I, I would find that story and, and happiness in my life. It's just a blessing from God, and I'm so thankful to Tijen and Dr. Narayanan for continuously pushing. And I know they're gonna keep fighting for her. I know they're never gonna give up. They're gonna keep fighting and for her and for all these other kids.